Secretary Cristina Garcia Frasco, Deputy Speaker Duke Frasco, Chief Operating Officer Maria Margarita Nograles, Chairperson Carlo Nograles, Honorable Members of the Philippines House of Representatives, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening. I was very happy to be at the launch of the Visita Be My Guest program of the Philippines Department of Tourism. Heading the delegation was no less than the granddaughter of the wisest man in Congress, Pablo Garcia. Adding to the distinction of the event, we were joined by no less than 17 members of the House of Representatives from where I came and in which I learned all there is to know about diplomacy. In the House, every member is a head of state and should be treated accordingly without fail. Even when you are heatedly arguing upon a point of law or procedure, you gave way only when the most distinguished by experience, like Pablo Garcia, had spoken and laid the matter to rest. Here too are local government executives as part of the Philippine delegation to the world travel market. The size of the delegation testifies to the importance that we place on our relationship with the United Kingdom, which remains the biggest source, the biggest market source market in terms of travel to the Philippines from this part of the world. This morning, I was honored and delighted to be at the Philippine booth. I observed firsthand the interest that people have in our beautiful country. Having met and talked with the Secretary and her people, I can confidently say that we are ready to claim our spot as the new tourism powerhouse of Asia. One of the ways to do that is through the Visita Be My Guest program. It invites our overseas Filipinos to be tourism ambassadors, promoting the Philippines by inviting friends and co-workers to visit our beautiful country. More of which I saw and marveled at last month when I went deep down south of the Philippine Coast Guard vessel to face off with the Chinese Coast Guard, with the shining seas, gleaming sands, and luscious forests of that part of our country. What I saw took my breath away, and bashed and banished any tension about that country. The Chinese should just come over as tourists instead of Coast Guards to enjoy our country more. The more, the better. They remain the leading tourists in world travel. Why should we lose out on that market? Geopolitics is one thing. Tourism is a whole other mutually rewarding experience altogether. Beauty has no borders. Happiness should have no barriers of country or language. There is enough in our country for all to stand beside each other and point and the inexhaustible beauty before them. The sun in the sky and the smiles of our people. If every Filipino in the UK brings one foreign visitor to the Philippines, that measures up to 200,000 more tourists, and that is a conservative estimate. The result will be the best time of their lives, and their undying gratitude to the Filipinos to convince them to visit our country. In closing, I wish to congratulate the Department of Tourism headed by Secretary Frasco for your hard work and perseverance in continuing to promote the Philippines on the world stage. It is true that we have been behind our neighbors in tourism, but we will catch up, fresh with new programs and systems of the DOT. With you at the helm, Madam Secretary, our country will be putting its best foot 
forward. I thank you all. I wish everyone an enjoyable evening. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ambassador Ecuador and Oxenia Junior. No, no, it's great. Filipinos are known for their smiles. <laughs>